saying, I, Skulk Scavenge, have mastered the heavens, broken the bloom. Uh, right, a bully for you, Skulk. Now could you land? Land? Of course, my pleasure. Uh, how? Huh? Whoa! Whoa! Ah, Sammy! My life passing before my very eyes! Mine too! A rock on his toe? Some rock! Come on! Oh. Ah, another sound, and I'll eat you, even if you don't smell so fresh. Understand? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, I'm hungry. Haven't eaten for three days. You don't want to eat me, friend. I know a place where you can eat all you want. If you can get in. Yeah? Where? Uh, a big cave, not far from here. Head due north and... So uh, be... Hey! Not so fast! <laughs> this better be good. <gasps> We'd better sound the alarm. Did you see the size of him? He's at least twice as big as Plato. Yeah, and they're headed for the hideaway. <laughs> Everyone's safely home. There, behind that stone door. Manimals stayed there. I heard they left food behind when they went. I hate manimals. No, really? <laughs> so what I mean is, uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> yep, straight ahead. Only stone door in the forest. You can't miss it. You're getting warm now. <laughs> I think <think> you. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> what on earth can that be? It's a great white bear. I've never seen a bear so big. He sounds angry. Stay back. I'll try to calm him down. Heave! Heave! Almost there! Scout! You're alive! Yay! Oh, oh, Scout, I'm so... Who's that? Huh? Ah, the monster! The monster in the mountain! Quiet! That's no monster! That's the meal picket who's gonna get us into the hideaway! Idiot! Hmm? Yeah! 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 His scent's worse than yours! True! A weasel's scent is far from sweet, but we're not complaining, are we, Sammy? Oh, no! <laughs> Still, I am starving! <laughs> oh, but weasel meat is poisonous! Yeah! Come on! You made that up! Who? Us? Hmm? Brother Bear, welcome! Accept this honey as a sign of our friendship. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. He could have left us a little. Nanamuth never stayed here. So? Guess I heard wrong. Come on, Sammy. Hmm. <laughs> Good. 
Thanks. But flying bears? I've never seen bears like you before. Well, we've never seen bears like you before either. All white and so big. I'm from up north, where it's cold all the time. At least I was, till those manimals caught me. Did they want to eat you? Nope. Wanted to put me in a, a, a zoo. You ever heard of a zoo? I have. It's a place where manimals make animals live in cages. What? Why? So the manimals can look at them. Huh? Anyhow, they put me in a big cage and hung it from a machine that flew through the sky. A helicopter. They fly over here sometimes. No kidding. Well, that helicopter dropped me on a mountainside. Cage smashed, and I managed to run for cover before the manimals could land and look for me. You were very lucky. Lucky? I'm hot and homesick. I don't call that lucky. What will you do? Go back north. Somehow. What's your name? Stalker. Well, Stalker, from here, the north is a journey of months through Manimal Land. You'd be wise to consider staying. We'll do our best to make you feel at home. Bears! Yeah, don't see them asking us over for honey. Mooning over that jerky giant. I'll get them for this and that jerky giant, too. Uh-oh. Water's too warm, the air's too hot. How do they stand it here? Ha! Huh. Good. Hello, Stalker. Walt and Tina here came up with an idea. They think you ought to go live on the glacier. Well, I'd be cooler. But what would I do for food? Well, we'd see to that. Every few days, we'd bring you a fresh supply of honey, nuts, fruit, almonds, jam. It's a light diet compared to your old one, but you'll get used to it. Well, it's worth a try, I guess. Never fill the likes of me. Hey, it's lonely here, too. It's freezing. It's steep. No wonder Skulk sent me. Don't eat me, please. What kind of creature are you? A snake, a serpent poet, to be exact. I've come with a message for you from Skulk. Huh? I'm listening. He hates to think of you stuck up here all alone when there's a huge cavern right inside the Bear's Mountain. It's so much cooler there, and it has a lake that's fed by a mountain spring. The water's like ice. Hmm, sounds good. But why didn't Plato mention it? The bears don't trust you. You could raid their storeroom and eat as much as you like. What? As if I do any such thing. Huh. Try to tell them that. They won't let anyone near their food. Well, even if I can't convince my cowardly cousins that I'm no thief, I could sure use a nice cold bath. Lead on, Snake. Oh, Skunk, I'm sure can hardly wait to hear his bear has bit the bait. Yaha! <laughs> you sure are a sport, Snake. Well, oh! But aren't you scared you'll hurt yourself? Hang on, fella. Almost there. 
good kid, but not so hot on ice. No. Oh. He gave you the message? Sure. Where's this cavern? Just follow the tunnel. Oh, and don't worry about the puffs of steam. There's a geyser or something in there. You know, after that tale you told me about the manimals staying here, I'm not so sure I trust you. Uh, you're not? Nope. In fact, I wouldn't go in here if I'd ever seen anything around here big enough to hurt me. I'll be in touch. <laughs> That's what you think. Come on. Huh? What's wrong? There are two monsters in the mountain now. <laughs> you and your monsters. What'll you youngsters come up with next? Phew. You may be right. Well, uh, I've got to run. Uh, cleaning my porch today. Work, work, work. Uh, call me when things settle down. Oh? No one's in the hideaway. We'll have to go through the mountain to get back in. Hmm. Maybe Stalker could help us. I bet he's big enough to get us through. We'll go get him. Mm -hmm. Plato's right. Stalker could whip those monsters with one paw tied behind his back. <laughs> Well, he was big enough to hurt me, and ugly, too. Yuck! The walking stopped. I don't like it. Relax. Yes. We can't lose. If Stalker wins, what did we know about any monster? If he loses, well, what's another bear, more or less? <laughs> Pass me the honey. <laughs> Whoa! Well, uh, hi there, Stalker. Gosh, you sure are a noisy swimmer. <laughs> uh, uh, have a melon. There's lots for everyone. Thanks. Don't mind if I do. Care for a little jam? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> a quaint northern custom, right? <laughs> uh, you're not mad, are you? Stalker's not on the glacier. Strange. Well, the ruckus has died down. Maybe we can make it back in without him. Look, the door! Stalker! <laughs> <laughs> These two 
Chiselers tricked me. They lied about you so they could get at your food. Oh, I'm sorry, Stalker. I should have known they'd be behind this. Were you fighting the monster in the mountain? Yeah, that'd be him. Yeah, I was doing all right, too. <laughs> I'll be ready for a rematch, though, after a double helping of weasel meat. But it's poison, remember? I'll take my chances. A Plato! Help! Right. He's not kidding! Stalker, the creatures here don't eat one another, no matter what their nature. It's the law of our forest. Thank your lucky star you live here. <laughs> Thank you, Lucky Stars. Thank you, Lucky Stars. Oh, oh. I can't hear myself run. In other news, the Humane Society search continues for the polar bear that disappeared last week while being ferried south to the city zoo. They have now tracked him to the dense forest to our west and should be there in full force by tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's what? That's revenge. <laughs> Sammy, my boy, we're gonna find a hungry white friend a new home with the animals. <laughs> Uh-oh. Poor Stalker. He eats as much as ten bears do in a day. And even so, he just gets weaker and weaker. Hey, what's that? Another one of Skulk's crazy inventions? Mm. But maybe this one's not so crazy, Tina. We're taking it back to the hideaway. <laughs> that looks like a picture of Stalker. Huh? There. Right! And that arrow's pointing to... The hideaway! <laughs> You're right, Wolf. A very sound design indeed. Mm, but what is it? A flying machine, and it can probably be repaired. Let's get to it. But what about those signs pointing to the hideaway? All in due time, Walt, all in due time. Go fetch Stalker, fast. <laughs> keep pedaling, keep pedaling, good. Uh, come back now. Fine. Excellent, Stalker. Now to land, tilt the sail forward. Tilt the sail. Ah! Good. Break. Break. Hold marks. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. You're a natural. <laughs> I still prefer swimming, though. <laughs> Maybe so, but this little beauty is what's going to get you home. Yes, thanks to Skunk. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he finds out he's the one who saved you. <laughs> <laughs> Let the stars be your guide. Remember everything I told you, so you'll always be sure you're flying due north. They'll guide me to a land where no one's ever seen a bear with wings. I'll tell the little ones about the forest down south, where bears can fly and miracles can happen. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Thanks, Plato. Thank you all. Take care of yourself. We'll miss you. Fly carefully, you hear? Oh, goodbye, Stalker. We're really going to miss you. <laughs> goodbye. bear. But our night's work isn't done yet. I want every one of those dreadful signs torn down by morning. Right, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> What's keeping those animals? 
Quick, you've got to get out of here. The manimals are here and they're what? heading this way. This way? Why? Didn't they see the signs? What signs? Someone tore them all down. No! No! The bears! They've done it again! Boss, you can't cry. You're skulk, fiend of the forest, remember? You, you got a heart of stone. I, I, I know that's what I tell you, Sammy. <laughs> but maybe, maybe deep down inside, I'm a sensitive, loving creature. Like, 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 like the bad. <laughs> What do you say we get out of here? Hmm? Yeah. Thought you'd never ask. I'll win one yet. You wait and see. <laughs> <laughs>